Hi everyone, this is a video on how to properly perform nitrogen sample acidification for the La Rosa Partnership Program. Just a reminder that only nitrogen samples need to be acidified and it needs to be done within 24 hours after collecting your sample. Nitrogen samples are the ones with the blue cap. The first step is to make sure that you've read all the necessary safety information, including the safety data sheets or SDS, the ins written instructions, and signed the safety agreement. The next step is to make sure you are wearing proper attire. So make sure you're wearing clothing that covers your skin, including long sleeves, long pants, closed toed shoes, and if you have long hair, make sure your hair is tied back. You also need to be wearing safety glasses to prevent against splashes in your eyes and disposable gloves to protect your hands. You're also going to want to make sure that all your samples are ready to go and set up in a safe location. So there should be a sink close by. So as you can see, I have a sink right behind me. And you want to make sure that there's no pets or children running around who might bump you while you're doing this process. So then you want to lay out all your samples in your sample rack and uncap all of them at once so you don't have to deal with reaching over and potentially knocking over any samples once they have been acidified. And make sure throughout this whole process that you are not putting your gloved hands near your face or your eyes or anything like that because they may be contaminated. Once your samples are all ready to go, lined up and uncapped, you're going to take your acid, as you'll see, it is, in, it is in two different containers. So there's an acid dropper bottle inside a secondary container with all the proper warnings about uh, safety precautions. You're then going to uncap the secondary container, remove the acid dropper bottle, and uncap that. For this demonstration, I'm not actually going to dispense any acid, but if you were to, like I said, you would remove the cap, place it next to you, and carefully dispense two drops of acid into each sample. And I would do all the samples at once. Then you're going to immediately recap the acid, put it back in its secondary container, close the cap, and then you can go ahead and cap all of your samples. Once the samples are properly capped and make sure that they are threaded properly so there's no leakage, and carefully invert the sample five times to mix. Once all your samples have been acidified, return them to their storage location, which should be on ice or in a fridge, until they can be picked up by La Rosa staff. Um, also make sure that they are labeled so that anyone who accidentally encounters them does not interfere with the samples in any way. In order to take off your gloves, you're gonna take one hand and pinch the bottom edge of one of your gloves. You're then going to roll it off, allowing it to turn inside out. Then you can ball up the glove with your gloved hand. Next, you're going to take one finger and carefully slide it in the inside of the glove without touching the outside. You're then going to roll that off, and then you can throw this away in a plastic bag that is sealed and then put in the trash. Make sure you don't put your used gloves in with your fresh gloves. In the event that you spill any acid, immediately wipe it up from the surface using any absorbing material like a paper towel. Put that into a bag, seal it, and put it in the trash. If you spill any acid on your skin or clothing, immediately start rinsing the area with water and continue to flush it for at least 15 minutes and contact a medical professional. If you spill an acidified sample, this is much more dilute. You can absorb it using the same cleanup process as the concentrated acid and immediately wash the area that has, if any area of your skin or clothing has come into contact, immediately wash that. Thanks for watching. Happy sampling.